All right, guys, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is the additional themes that I've included in this build. So if you right click the desktop and go to personalize, and then click on themes, you'll see that there are 20 custom themes included in this build. So the default theme that we have set is called Dark Crystal Mac. It uses custom captions on the system windows that are reminiscent of Christmas tree lights and it uses a custom glass recycle bin icon as well as a crystallized mouse cursor. Now, if you don't like the way this default theme looks, you can choose one of the other options available. So they will change the recycle bin, the look of the recycle bin icon, the look of the windows captions, as well as the wallpaper and the mouse cursor. So here we have a different look to the Windows captions, but it kept the recycle bin icon and the mouse cursor. This one changes the wallpaper as well as changes the recycle bin to a dark themed icon and keeps the same crystallized mouse cursor. And then this one uses a more traditional dark themed mouse cursor, but moves back to the glass recycle bin icon. And then lastly, keeping that traditional cursor look, but going to the dark recycle bin icon. And if you're a fan of light windows themes, we certainly didn't forget about you. We have the exact same themes available in light versions as well as dark. And if you prefer to use the stock Windows 11 themes, we have those included for you as well that will use the default Windows 11 recycle bin icons, default wallpapers, and captions as well. And you'll see this theme does have one slight change where it rounds the edges of the, uh, the corners that are usually present under devices and drives. Uh, but if you want to use the complete Lee original theme, just use the two on the right here that are called Dark Classic and Light Classic. And that'll give you your stock look, complete stock look for Windows 11. And if you want to change the start orb icon, just right click on it, go to properties, and then click on the Windows 11 original icon here. So you can easily change this Christmas build into a stock look for Windows 11 if that is what you'd like to do. But since this is a Christmas theme build, we'll go back to the custom start orb and the dark Mac, dark crystal Mac theme. Now the, we'll talk about the snow effects that are included in this build as well. So you'll see that there is snow falling from my cursor as well as snow softly falling on the desktop background. And if you go to your system tray, you'll see two snowflake icons. One is called cursor snowflakes. If you right click on it, you can change the settings for the snowflakes that are falling, following your cursor trail. You can choose the speed, the speed at which the snowflakes fall and also the transparency of the snowflakes. You can also choose to have the snowflakes on top of all of your windows, active or inactive, or only over inactive windows and on the desktop background, but not over top of your active windows by checking or unchecking this option here. The other app is what controls the snowflakes that are falling on your desktop background. And by default, we have it set to, I would call it kind of a romantic setting where it's not super dense, falling softly uh, to complement the, the included default wallpaper. If you want to increase the density of the flakes, you just move the slider here. Uh, you can also change the transparency of the flakes and the speed that the flakes fall. And then if you go to the image slash texture options here, you'll see that there's many different uh, images available instead of the default one that we have set, which is I think flake eight. Yeah, flake eight. 
Uh, but yeah, you can use stars, flowers, uh, balls, leaves. Um, the star mix is a really neat effect as well. And you'll see that it's going behind our, our windows. So it's set to only show in the background, not, not over top of active windows. And the transparencies that we have in the start menu and taskbar and explorer windows really lend to the to the look of this build because you get to see the snowflakes falling behind these windows which is a really a really neat effect uh, if you don't like having the snow effects on you just have to right click the icon and go activate or deactivate and then for the snow cursor you can just exit it and then you'll get rid of that effect as well. Okay, let me change it back to the default look. I think it was flake eight. There we go. Okay, we'll check the wind Windows version. You'll see it's using the latest public update for Windows 11 22H2, which is build 22621.900. And that just came out yesterday. So this is a brand new release. Uh, and these builds are also fully updatable. So if you go into your settings app and go to Windows Update, you'll see they're paused because there's lots of people who don't like automatic updates. They consume resources and work in the background. Uh, without your kind of consent or permission. So you can control that by leaving these paused and you can still manually update your build uh, by going to the Windows Update catalog and downloading the MSU standalone update packages, which is my preferred method. And we have a YouTube video on how to update all of our builds manually as well uh, that I'd urge you guys to check out if you want to keep this paused and have a little more control over when it gets updated or if it gets updated. Um, yeah, then the choice is kind of yours. And then you'll see everything else works normally, just like the rest of our Phoenix Light West builds. Uh, the store is there, it's functional. You can add any languages you want, no fonts are removed, no drivers are removed. So this is going to function very much like an optimized uh, stock build of Windows where you're going to have all of your compatibility and features left intact, which is really important for for the most for most users because everyone uses different software. So we want to make sure that all the software that you use is going to work with this build. And yeah, if you want, guys want to add a language, the def this is a default by default. This is an English US build, but you can add any language you want to this build as well. And it's got full speech recognition support, voice activation. Um, none of none of the accessibility options have been removed from this build. And then it's been debloated. So we just keep the basic apps that most people would need, like the calculator, camera, notepad, store, paint app. Snipping tool, terminal, and Windows security. And you can install these builds with Windows Defender enabled or disabled. And if you care about performance, uh, I wouldn't really recommend using Windows Defender. It uses a fair bit of resources and slows down your overall system, really. Um, yeah, if you haven't tried using Windows without, def with, without Defender or with, with Defender disabled, I'd highly recommend you try it. It's a much more responsive experience, in my opinion. And I think for performance-minded people, you'll really enjoy the experience that Windows gives you without Defender being present. Uh, yeah, personally, I don't like Windows Defender, and I either disable it or remove it completely in my own use. But yeah, we, uh, oh, I, I guess I'll show you guys the 
the included wallpapers and, and extras we have in this build as well. So we just have some themed uh, desktop shortcuts, kind of going with that blue theme to match the wallpaper. And you can enable virtual memory by running this app here. You can also run it or enable virtual memory by right-clicking the desktop and going to system properties. And then under the performance tab, go to settings, advanced tab, and then you'll see virtual memory. It's by default disabled, but you can change that. You can use a custom size or a system managed size or an automatic uh, option. It's up to you. If you have, I'd say probably you know, 16, less than 16 gigabytes of RAM, I'd, I'd highly recommend enabling this, uh, especially for four and eight gigabyte 